Hello viewers, I'm Private Dave. This is World Tanks, in case you don't already know that, which I assume most of you probably do. Um, I'm in my T69 doing team battles. This is from the subscriber event that I recently did with Hi Hello. As you can see his name in the little team battle list, kind of gives it away. Um, so yeah, I'd like to thank Neo, JQ, Tyler Coleman, is it? Is it? I think. Yes. Uh, Flake Gun, Drink and Drive, and Halo Nomad for uh, taking the time to, you know, uh, play a few games with us. And, uh, yeah, thanks for showing up. It's, uh, it's appreciated. Uh, anyways, getting down to it. Uh, the game plan here is to have Flake Gun in his scout tank, tier 8 thing, to go into the middle. T1s are covering the road and the right, and then uh, everybody else is going to the left to try and just kind of kill stuff quickly. And this isn't really that great of a game for me, to say the least, but it's not bad. Which is all that matters. And, um, you might have seen Hilo's video recently where he said that we won most of the games. I checked to be sure, and we actually won all of the games, all 12, so GG. Just saying. Anyways, getting down to it, that's, uh, kind of wishing I had my Persian here so I could have gun depression, but, uh, yeah. I'll make do, I suppose. Now I'm starting off with AP rounds, even though they can't really do jack shit to heavy tanks that are going head on with you, because this tank kind of lacks penetration. But eh, that's a different story. So kind of seeing if I can get a spot where I have gun depression without exposing all my tank, and then you know I can hit stuff. Go for the little um, viewport or not. Commander's Cupola on the T32. Missed the first shot, hit the second. Now I have two shells left. Seeing if I can hit the little hatch on top of the IS-3's turret. No. Get another shot into the T32, and I'm on reload. And I'm switching to gold rounds as well, because that's a lot of heavy tanks. And whereas I have to aim to damage them, because I don't have any penetration, uh, they really don't have to aim at me that well, since I have no armor. So I, I, I figure, just kind of get rid of them quickly, so I don't kind of disintegrate, hopefully. So I'm going to use, there you go, and a miss, alright. The amazing accuracy of this gun right there. Here comes the Tiger 2, I'll just kind of damage you a bit. There you go. He's dead, Tyler kills him, and... Missed that one on the cupola. Now I'm gonna switch back to normal AP and I'm gonna go around. And that's pretty much it for me, this game, sadly. I was hoping to flank around, but it was not to be. Drink and drive is kinda of just capping out, so they're. They kinda of have to push and kill us before they can go back, because there's. We have two medium tanks, so if they try going back, we're gonna just get around them and shoot them, pretty much. So it's, they kind of have to push there, sadly. Well, sadly for them, luckily for us. So yeah, just kind of speed this game up now, because this is over. So yeah, that was the first game. Uh, or, not the first game, but one of the first games we played moving on to the next one. Alright, on to the, the second and final game for this part of the team battle thing. Uh, there will be a part two after this, so don't worry. Uh, that one will have three battles in it, actually, so that's something to look forward to, I guess. Unless you don't really, you know, spend too much time watching our videos and you only watch a couple minutes, then I suggest, you know, maybe favoriting it and, you know, picking up where you left off. Uh, just, just an idea. Uh, anyways, um, game plan here, have the two tier ones, just kind of watch the middle and the left, and everybody else go right. Some 
did I start recording quick enough for that? Uh, in case you missed it, I was pretty much talking to them in TeamSpeak and saying that um, they're probably camping at like A1, A2. Because that's usually what happens on this map. It usually just goes down to a siege battle, because why not, I guess? Why, you know, actually like do teamwork and push the enemy and, you know, play strategically when you can just camp in the mountains and wait. You know, the 10 minutes for a draw. Because everybody loves draws, right? I certainly love draws. They're amazing. Better than wins, actually. You know, totally not sarcasm there. Flake gun kills the T1. Um, now I'm going to move up here and see if I can spot anything. Any second now. There we go back up so if anything did spot me it won't shoot me in the face because I don't have armor as I probably stated before um, I don't really like the T69 to be honest like it's nice to have an auto loaded gun and all that and it's somewhat nimble but it doesn't have armor it doesn't really have gun depression it has a long ass aiming time it has no penetration and yeah, not the best accuracy. I also kind of prefer my Pershing to it, to be completely honest. Shell drops and hits the railroad right there, of course. And now he's looking at me and that's a bad sign. Oh look, they're camping in the mountains. Who saw that coming? I'm completely surprised right now. Who knew? Who knew teams could camp in the mountains? Oh my god. Look, look at that. Look at that. That's supposed to be that's supposed to be their part of the map right there. That That's supposed to be their side of the map. This is their that's their flag right there. It's only a couple minutes into the game. What the fuck? Oh god, why? Anyways, back to uh, the game. Uh, fire at that guy, it drops or it hits something, I don't know. Uh, fire again, and of course it bounces, and I'm just gonna reload, no point. Go over to help the MS1, or not the MS1s, but the tier 1s and the WZ. slowly make my way over and I think one of our T1s is about to get derped in the face. Yeah, there it is. Uh, and this is where I discover I also don't have gun elevation and gun depression. Uh, which is great. Um, yeah, that, that's awkward. And then the T28 has to ruin my day a bit. So, that's great. 110's trying to like shoot me, apparently. And... Yeah, he's, he's dead. Try backing up without getting shots. He hits the ground, luckily for me. Or this could have been a very, very bad day for me. Because I, I don't like getting shot in this tank. It doesn't go well in most cases. Try to move up without getting completely wrecked by a T-28 prototype camping in the hills. Uh, still don't know where the other T-34 is, but uh, I'm sure you can probably guess where it is. Uh, going off the other T-34's location. Oh wow, he was over there earlier? Wow. Both of them are over there right now, apparently. I say this because I didn't notice that before. I, I just knew where he uh, popped up, which was near me. So. 
Interesting. And there's the T-28 prototype in the mountains. That tracks him. It's not really a good idea to be doing that because it's heat rounds to the tracks, which usually doesn't go well. But yeah, that bounces, and then there's IS-3 there. He misses. So I'm just gonna shoot you a couple times and then run away. So yeah. This is off to a great start. It's a really fast-paced uh, game here. Fast-paced down to the wire and uh, really back and forth for the losses. See if I can hit him, and that one drops of course. The first one always seems to drop for some reason. Could just be me, I don't know. I'm gonna try it again, because why not? Nothing better to do. If I go left, I'm gonna get shot by a T-34. Go right, I'm gonna get shot by a T-28 prototype or a T-34. Or all three, because, you yeah. know. And he decides our uh, our MS-1 is his priority target right there, which is uh, great wisdom. Move up a bit closer. Let's see if he uh, will not pay attention to me. Hopefully, get one shot into him. And it's 200 damage gone, and I have two more. This couldn't go horribly wrong, could it? And he's backing away. All right. And then he's back. Hit him again. And now I'm feeling kind of confident because you know he hasn't even fired at me. I, I've done you know two or three damaging hits on actually two. And then this. Happens. Oh, that one went way high. Okay. So now I'm down to normal AP. So I'm just gonna murder this T34 in a minute here. Uh, because. I can just shoot the, the side tracks on it. Just kind of waiting for the uh, the reload, and it's one minute left, and they have two tanks and one's hiding in the mountain. So it, it's looking like a draw right now, except we could cap if they don't decap. So, but of course we're gonna decap because he's right there in the in the mountains watching the base. Just kind of shoot you a couple times. There. Yeah, there you go. And now to try, to, you know, distracting the T28 prototype for a bit, or possibly killing it. And watch what happens here, because this is great. He's going to rush at me, and I'm going to shoot his underbelly. And uh, what do you think is going to happen? Uh, am I going to critical hit him? Am I going to lay him on fire? Wh what do you think is going to happen here? Just wait. Just wait. That one goes a bit high. That one goes exactly where I aimed. Uh, and they both bounce. Okay. That that was normal AP, by the way. That's uh, interesting. Very interesting. Well then, thank you for watching. If you liked the video. Feel free to like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and I'll catch you later.